been a deadly shooting at an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut. That's about 24 miles northwest of New Haven. One child has been killed, and one gunman is dead as well. We do not know the gunman's identity or motive or if he acted alone. We are here in Aurora, Colorado, outside the shopping center, outside the movie theater where this massacre took place during the midnight showing of Batman last night. Investigators still on the scene. There is yellow crime scene tape that surrounds this entire shopping center, which is closed today. You can see the gunman's car. We are told weapons were found in that vehicle. Investigators still out here at this hour. In fact, there are police all over the place as this shopping center, this movie theater remain closed as this investigation continues. Obviously just stunned. This is, uh, you wonder what's going on inside these stores? Well, we took some shots here. Look at this. This is inside a Kenny shoe store. And, uh, you know, it's, it's party time. These people are smiling, as you heard. They don't care. They know it's illegal. They don't care. But I'll tell you what happened moments later. The Korean merchants and store owners who own that shopping complex, they, they were talking to me for a moment. They said they were fed up. They walked away. Next thing I knew, they walked out of their stores. Three of them were holding guns, and they just started firing at everybody and anybody. Twenty children between look where five happened. and ten. At what Excuse point me. do you gun lobby guys say we get it? It's time for change. Recently, it seems like gun-related violence is becoming more and more commonplace. Children and innocent moviegoers have become the focus of horrible displays of violence and murder. Now more than ever, people want to see a change in our government's gun policies. I always remember the NRA in Florida when I was growing up. I probably was about age, well, maybe 14, when uh, my father encouraged me, uh, my cousins, to join the NRA. It was run by the local uh, game warden, and um, it was a way to, first of all, learn how to use guns safely. We lived in a community where everybody hunted, so guns were quite common. Uh, and uh, also to be able to go out and do uh, lots of things outdoors, camping, hiking, uh, uh, hunting, forestry work. Uh, the forest ranger, who was our leader, got us involved in all sorts of things. So in a lot of ways, we were sort of like the Boy Scouts, uh, except we didn't have badges, but we did have guns. Uh, we were trained by old World War II veterans to use guns uh, and uh, trained very carefully. So I think today I probably know, still remember, the seven types of guns, the three types of, of handguns, uh, and um, how to, to check to see if any of them are loaded uh, um, or whether their safeties are on or off, how to handle them safely is the point. Yeah. I think we should have stricter gun laws today. I think we desperately need them. Uh, we have, we're, have a society that's known for not only the prevalence of guns, but for lots of violence, and uh, that's frightening. I, I think it needs to change. I do well understand, having lived in a rural area and then moved into a more uh, suburban and urban area, uh, that there's a difference in how uh, people in those two areas look at guns. I, you know, I just see them as a tool that you can use if you live in a rural area, but I don't see why we need so many in urban and suburban areas. I, I don't know facts on this, but I would imagine that gun manufacturers and gun dealers uh, would have a lot to lose if uh, there was stricter gun, uh, gun control legislation passed, uh, but I still think it would be the right thing to do. Uh, as far as, as the big economic picture, I doubt that there would be any big uh, consequence of gun controls, okay. tighter gun controls on the American economy. I think the Second Amendment was something that, was, at the time it was passed, the goal was to have uh, organized militias. 
I don't think there's a need for organized militias today. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, society has evolved in such a way that we have uh, plenty of organizations designed to keep the peace and organizations designed to uh, protect the public. I don't feel we're at a, any uh, risk from our federal government. Anybody who understands how to make the political system work through elections uh, shouldn't have any fear of, of the government. I think that has been overblown by people for their own ideological reasons. The Second Amendment is part of the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments of the U.S. Constitution, which were ratified on December 15, 1791. James Madison, later to be our nation's fourth president, was the one responsible for penning these famous words. Of all the amendments to the U.S. Constitution, this is probably the most controversial. Many books have been written because of it. The Second Amendment reads, A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Second Amendment is usually summarized as the right to bear arms, although most people neglect the first clause mentioning a well-regulated militia. Now, we don't live in the 1700s anymore, and militias are largely a relic of a bygone era. Nonetheless, such a militia is explicitly mentioned to be well-regulated, which could mean that Congress has the power to restrict its usage by the passage of legislation. Also, in a time of cannons and muskets, it is unlikely the Founding Fathers had semi-automatic weapons and armor-piercing bullets in mind when they ratified this document. President Obama not get what he wanted the other day, uh, mainly for one purpose. Uh, I, I strongly believe the background check part of the system is very necessary. I'm not a big believer in people not having the right to own guns, but I think that one aspect of control is something that I really feel is necessary. I don't know the need to have an assault weapon for your personal use. You know? So yeah, I, I believe that there should be a limitation also on that, the type of gun. Yeah, I don't like, yeah, they, we definitely have the right to bear arms. With, you know, again, the guideline of the background check seems to be a big thing. It, I feel it's uh, necessary. And the style of rifle too, those two aspects of, the, of gun control. Yeah, I always think that guns don't kill people. People kill people. Uh, and I think our men the mental health system uh, could be a lot stronger. Uh, I think for our country, for us, the great resources that we have, we're probably a little lacking in the area of mental health. <laughs> no, I, pro I don't own any firearms. That's kind of Thank you so much. Current gun control laws um, are inadequate, and I think more background checks need to be implemented so that tragedies like Sandy Hook can possibly prevent, be prevented. Um, granted, the nut job that did that stole the guns from his mother. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't have background checks. That some background checks would certainly prevent tragedies. Um, as far as what types of weapons should be allowed to be owned by citizens of the United States, it's ludicrous. I, I don't buy the argument that we should have any gun that we want. I don't think we need to have semi-automatic weapons or automatic weapons in the hands of anyone um, other than, than the military. I think um, I think it should be a lot harder to get those guns. I think they should be just the military. Um, as far as age, you know, you can drive when you're 16, but you can't drink till you're 21. So, you know, how old should you be when you be able to use a gun? I mean, rural Pennsylvanians are using guns from the times that they're nine and ten years old and they're taught to use them safely. So I don't know that an age for a gun is really even relevant. So how old should they be? 
16. I don't know. I don't, I don't, it's not a big issue. All right. That's about it. Suffocate